Oh, I know what we can build! The country boat! The country boat is the way to go in terms of... Uh, in terms of vehicles, uh, or... I mean, there's plenty of other interesting Fords, but I, I think the... Um, I think the country boat has got to be the, uh, the way to go. I have had, I have built some very fast country boats in the past, mainly for the lower class. Ooh, many colours. Many colours of country boat. Um, not many exciting colours, however. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just enough colours. Um, I think we go for a sort of, is that purple? Is that supposed to be purple or brown? I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, <laughs> 12,000 credits for a country, but it sounds like the perfect, the perfect way to go. Big tires, uh, try and hold on for dear life. Oh, this is probably not a good idea, again, when I'm trying to learn a wheel. Why am I building silly cars when I'm trying to learn a wheel? Hold on. This, like, changes the rim. It's like stretching the rim out. How does that work? Could somebody please describe <laughs> that one? That one works. Like, I can understand it when you like shadow changes and so on, but that's like the physical centre of the rim is coming out. But that, that's very bizarre. That is very bizarre indeed, but we will get as big a wheels as possible. We're building this in the uh, typical fail race, uh, fail race manner. Oh, this game actually tells you where the engine comes from. I forgot about that. <laughs> this game, it, yeah, tells us where the engine comes from. So, 70s Mustang engine, or we can have the uh, the V8 DSC from the Shelby GT500. Um, probably, the Mustang engine isn't bad. Have we got, uh, there we go. Ooh, Mustang engine isn't bad at all, actually. Yes, I will take you. You don't do too much PI. Oh, the gearbox should probably be... Um, Gearbox should be pretty uh, up there in terms of things I need to go and do to this car. Uh, <laughs> ah, of course. Um, don't show that message again. Uh, I don't think I have the rally expansion. I'm fairly sure I never bought the rally expansion, so <laughs> we're not going to get that. Somehow putting in the sports transmission gives us less PR. We're going to put the race transmission because I'm probably going to... Um, probably going to want to adjust it slightly. I definitely want to diff, otherwise it'll be one tie fire... Well, where? One tire fire for days. I can speak. Not very well. I mean, it's often made up words, but I can speak. <laughs> oh, no, not that. Um, race suspension. Yes. Weight reduction. Yes. Oh, wow. C-Class must be a pretty... I mean, that's a 300 horsepower country boat. Admittedly, it is still on its standard tires, but uh, <laughs> that's probably a good point. Um... Okay, we're going we're to be on standard tyres. Which is bad and dangerous and many sideways, but at least it'll be really, really quick when it comes to a straight. Oh, can I do con aspiration? I can. Oh. No, nope, okay, never mind. I'll take that back. We could do aspiration and then we couldn't do aspiration. <laughs> we can, but it won't fit in the class. So instead, we will go for aspiration stuff that makes the car light. Now, this is the way that I would build a C-Class car, probably a C-Class country boat on Forza Motorsport for racing there. I'm not sure that's the best way to build it on uh, Horizon 1 when I'm on a wheel. But, you know, there we go. Now, I am going to... Well, close my eyes, scroll through here. Is that is working? Okay, good. Uh... <laughs> Whatever car we end up on, uh, that is the vehicle that we're going to buy. That is the vehicle we're going to build for an appropriate class. Please don't be like our class or whatever the high class was in this game. Okay, where is where is A on this steering wheel? Um, I didn't actually look at the screen and all that, so we're into this, into this the one. Okay, there's about three cars, about three cars in this manufacturer. Um, I have no idea. Like if, I, if I talk, I can't hear uh, over the clicky thing, so there. Okay, I guess we're building an R3 <laughs> Wara. <laughs> oh, this is going to go badly. <laughs> this is going to go real badly. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I hope we're up for some R3 racing, guys. Uh, that's many monies as well. That was a very expensive way to do things. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, I guess we're going to go for a uh, 
for a red one. Oh, do I have enough tokens? How many tokens? Oh, bugger, I don't have enough tokens hanging around because I probably had some left. Uh, <laughs> damn. Tires are going to be important. The big tires. There we go. That's what I want to see. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, not that one, though. Big, big tires. I like big tires. Uh, three one fives on the front. Nice. Okay, excellent. Tire compound. Uh, I probably want to go for some... I mean, we've got enough power in this car. Let's face it. Where's why? Where's why? Uh, 700 horsepower is going to... Um, it's, it's going to be plenty of speed. Uh, spend plenty of power. So I think we'll go for the compound tyre over... Over anything else. And then try... Oh, we can't actually even upgrade the brakes. I'm okay with that. Uh, no, we, don't, we don't, definitely don't want um, off-road suspension on this. Can we do... Nah, I don't needed. Um, that sticks it up into R2. I guess then we'll just go and stick on some of these. Um, I actually thought they upped the PI on this game, but... Uh, apparently, apparently not. Ooh, do we go for some Forza Aero as well? Downforce is good. Da downforce, is, downforce is always helpful. Oh, look at the wing! Okay, this was a good call in terms of the... Um, in terms of the mighty wing... That's a pretty, pretty, pretty good call on the car. Kind of accidentally. However, <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Uh, we might have to then grab a little tiny bit of engine performance. You know, such a tough life when you've suddenly got to go and stick on a few few engine upgrades. Another 9 horsepower. 720 horsepower. Wara. Uh, how much power does this get? Ooh, lots. <laughs> lots is the answer, I suspect. Oh, the country boats are aligned. Uh, the country boats are aligned for the launch. We are quicker than the fit. We have beaten the fit off the line. Oh, God, we're going three wide in big American cars. Three wide in big American cars. And we are up into... Oh, we've got a little bit of a nudge. Uh, but we are through. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the Fords. Laggy Fords. Laggy Fords are doing laggy Ford things. Let's avoid those. Uh, okay. I'm going to say positive things about the Country Squire in that it wasn't awful. It wasn't awful off the line. It wasn't awful through the first corner. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to match the DB5. Or, well, say the DB5. The DB5 has then got a founder wall. Not sure it's going to match the uh, <laughs> Ferrari at the front. You know, a classic racing Ferrari against a massive boat of a Ford. But you never know. With a bit of good driving by me. Oh, got a bit of sideways. Uh, action unintentionally by the Ford. Basically, if good things happen, it's because I did it. Bad thing happens, is the car's fault. Uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to blame. That definitely, definitely sounds like some pro-level uh, driver, racing driver excuses right there. We've actually got the run on the Aston Martin. We are... a oh, little bit of a bump. I apologise. Uh, <laughs> we're through! It's the best we've done in any car so far today! <laughs> it's probably not going to last. However, however... Uh, we are up into a third place. Don't really know where to break into turn one. We are actually catching the Ferrari. The Mustang and the 250 had a coming together through turn one. The Ferrari looks like it's wheel spinning its way uh, up that hill. I'm not going to be able to get past it. Uh, oh, the Ferrari doesn't look particularly nice to drive either. Can I go around the outside of a Testarossa? Nope, nope, because I got an assistance from something. I think that was from the... Oh, it was from the Aston. <laughs> Oh no, we got some assistance. God damn it, the classic race cars working together. They do not want to Ford 1 2. Come on, Country Squire. Come on, Country Squire. We can do this. Oh, it's a bit of a dive bomb up the inside. I got slightly turned into more than anything. Uh, <laughs> we're through. Come on, there's a Ford F100 as well. Make it an all Ford podium, please. Uh, <laughs> I've got to go run after a pegger. Uh, don't do anything dumb. Don't do anything dumb. Easy does it through these corners. What's going on? I've built a good car. Uh, <laughs> I've built this for... Oh, God, I've built a good car, but I've done a dumb thing. Uh, no, well, at least it's a Ford. At least it's still a Ford 1, 2, 3. I thought I could get away with that manoeuvre, and I really, really couldn't. Uh, the Ferrari's going to go through the gap. I'll have to give him... I, I, I was happy to give you space. I didn't really need the rub on the uh, exit there. I would have rather, rather have not had the rub on the exit. We'll go around the outside of you. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> we have as well. Turn one. Around the outside of the test drive. In fact, the Ferrari's really struggling for grip back there. Can we catch that F100? From what I've seen, it looks like the F100's got good acceleration, but it runs out of top speed. Not that that's a massive problem at this circuit. Oh, although the, <laughs> the F100 might fall over. That would be a massive problem. The, 
<laughs> the F-100 going for a wobble. That would be a big problem. Uh, kites. Oh, God. <laughs> fighting. Fighting with the country squire. I'm actually really... There's a C-class car. This is brilliant. This was a really good call. <laughs> this was a really good call. I am working quite hard to, uh, to keep it all together. But it's... Uh, <laughs> Going quite well. Pegasus not really escaping away at the front of the field too much with his Mustang. If we hadn't hit the wall and got in trouble, I feel like we may possibly, possibly have been able to uh, to compete. But there we go. It's a big run down towards turn one. Is the F100 going to defend? Uh, oh, he's going to kind of leave the door open. That that was not really my intention to go for an overtake maneuver there. I apologise on that one. That's just where I was braking normally. And me breaking normally was enough. Oh, God. I think... <laughs> I'm not sure the uh, connections are the most stable. There's a lot of, like, little slight laggy bumps going on between cars, which is a little bit of a shame. But uh, there we go. The F100 <laughs> is displeased about losing second through a bunch of billboards at me, as you do. Carefully does it. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him, Pega, without a uh, mistake from him up there. Although we have... Oh, no, 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 no. Careful with the throttle. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a panic. That was a bit of a scary moment. Uh, <laughs> we've got an F100 breathing all over the back of us. Oh, we got nudged a little bit wide. I think he's going to get it. Uh, unless unless he has an issue at this final corner. Uh, I mean, I have actually got a very, very good run out of there. Come on. Come on, Country Squire. Nope, you can't do that. <laughs> we'll beat it. We got fastest lap. <laughs> yes, we built a good stupid car. <laughs> even even some unsportsmanlike behaviour from the F100. We actually built a good stupid car. Fastest lap of the uh, of the race from a country boat. Oh god, I'm starting on pole. Uh oh. Uh, apparently, it didn't want to didn't want to go. But there we are. The Evos off. The all-wheel drive cars have launched themselves into the lead, and one of them's had a crash already. Uh, oh god, trees, trees. Mind the trees. Fence. That's not. This isn't Horizon Three where we can go shortcutting everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, bugger. Corners, corners, corners. Posts. Someone's rolled behind us. Run! We've got the lead. There's a lot of turbo noise going on in this. There's a lot of something noise anyway. Whether it's turbo noise or not, I'm not sure. But there's the, <laughs> there is there is noise. Noise is happening in the Wara. Uh, God, noise is happening and I'm terrified of it. This is very quick now. Um, this is this is very very quick. Um, please don't please don't have a big crash. I'm gonna be careful. Oh, I'm being careful. I've had a big crash. I'm glad I wasn't being stupidly brave then. Uh, somehow it got away with that. Uh, BRJ Stig, no idea what they are driving in second place. I did see him pegging with the gun put behind us at some point, but uh, he seems to have uh, long gone. I think others are having, surprisingly, more difficulties than me. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to be doing terrible. They've obviously managed to fall over one another. Uh, oh, careful. Careful through all of these corners. When you've got a lead like this, I'm kind of, <laughs> I kind of don't want to push too hard because it would be so stupid to throw it away because I've overdriven the car like a lunatic. But to keep a lead like this, you've still got to be driving relatively quickly. <laughs> oh god damn! Oh, it's not. It's scary. It's scary when I'm not 100% confident in the, my ability to control the car on on, on the wheel here. <laughs> Again, if, if you are just joining this stream, I, I shall I shall point out, and I'm not making racing driver excuses, honestly, but I shall point out that uh, I am currently racing on a uh, on a wheel for the first time in a very long time, and the first time ever on this game. So there is some uh, some learning curve to go. I haven't played this game in years, so <laughs> put the two together, and there's a little a little bit of a struggle, but. We are actually winning the race that I never thought we would. We are going... <laughs> We're going to take a victory with the R3 car. The DLC car. I don't know what it was. Joss, perhaps? Uh... <laughs> oh. 
Well, Ewan, the close your eyes and guesswork tactic paid off. It, it paid off big time. Right, so we are against... There are many Evos, in fact. There are three Evos, two Impretzas, a Lancia, a Peugeot, and a Raptor. One of these things is not like the others. One of them is very big and very heavy. <laughs> We've done a really good job of choosing all rally cars, and then Impega has a Raptor. Let's go and try and not get caught. Now, the downside, the big downside with... Uh, playing playground games on a wheel. Oh, okay. That's a good start. Hello. <laughs> now that will definitely be a... Oh, come on. Please roll. Please roll. Please roll. Please roll. Don't just barely flop over. There we go. Uh, that will definitely be a uh, add to roll counter worthy offence, that one. Uh, I can look behind and that's it. <laughs> so I can't look left and right, which does make it difficult in a... Uh, oh, God. In a playground game situation. Oh, hello, T-Bird. Bye-bye, T-Bird. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling, oh, if he could turn around and see me, there would probably be some revenge tagging in the very, very near future. Uh, why are we all clustered into one corner? That sounds like a dangerous idea. Go! No! No! Impega! No! Ah! Okay, no, thank you, Impega. You took the hit for me. Run away from the Persia. <laughs> Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. It's getting a little bit bumpy still. Uh, I spy a 205. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thank you very much, uh, Impega, for saving. I thought he'd screwed me over. I really did think he'd screwed me over. No, 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 no. This is so bouncy out here. When did it get so bouncy? Okay, we're going this way, apparently. Uh, oh, okay. T-Bird missed. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that worked. Um, oh, Impega's on his side. Dodge the Raptor. Dodge the Raptor. Oh, the 205's got exploring. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know how I survived that. That was... Um, that was quite impressive. That was quite impressive. Impressive luck, more than anything. We've spun around again. T-Bird's doing some pirouettes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice flips, my friend. Nice flips indeed over there. It's not really helped catch the Evo. Uh, Impega's not having much better time. What you find... Oh, okay, I'll tell a lie. Impega obviously ha is having a better time, as he has now caught, uh, caught the Stig. Always a useful vehicle to catch. Oh dear, we've fallen over again. Go, 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 before we get caught. Don't know where. Don't know where the other cars are. Oh, okay, we are somehow out of all... Oh, okay, I couldn't look that... <laughs> Damn it, that's the downside of not being able to look. I thought he was safe. I didn't even see him. Pega was over that way. Speed easy, pop. Evo should stick together, but speed easy was... Uh... <laughs> Speed easy was there, so there was a bop. Oh, <laughs> we bopped a raptor. Not that that really did, uh, you know, much. Oh, God, please, on on road. Ah, Cuth lie. Oh, you are the last one. Looks like you're in a DLC car, possibly. Uh, I couldn't really make out what it was. Um, I actually think Speed Easy might be in a DLC car as well. Uh, I guess potentially. Uh, oh, I think it might be in rally cars. That would explain. I mean, that would be a good choice. Uh, the rally DLC cars. Oh, I thought I was being sneaky. I don't worry. He was being sneakier than me. Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, other Evo. Oh, well played and then well fallen. No, I've fallen over as well. Bad Evo. Bad Evo. No, 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 no. Come on. Roll that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's not gone very well. <laughs> that's, that's what that one is. That one has not gone very well at all. God damn it! Somebody catch him! We're all now following in a line. That's not the way to do infected. We've got to spread out. We've got to you know, pincer and maneuver and all of that kind of thing. There we go. Stig, you can go and launch your car across the sand pit. I'm kind of covering this side. I'm not covering this side. Covering this side has gone very badly wrong. Roll. Thank you. <laughs> that was just hold the steering and hope. Oh, can we get across in time? Uh, oh, there's a big old mess. Where did he go? Oh, he's actually he's still back up there. Sorry, I, th I thought I saw the, the... Oh, there we go. Someone got him. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> that will work. Uh, there's some predictions of third, some predictions of fifth. Kiak reckons seventh. Max the Dog reckons ninth, which would be a very impressive feat. Uh... <laughs> Reet 11 plays. Reckons it's going to finish on its roof. That's a solid assumption again when you're in a fail race stream. That's a solid, a solid, uh, solid prediction. Oh god, it's the Rally Mercedes is, 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 is at the front as well. That's not what you want. The all-wheel drive supercars will get off the line pretty well. As there goes the Gallardos. All the Gallardos have gone past. Uh, massive Ferrari has got a massive wing on that Ford. Uh, 
we're going to have to work. We're really going to have to work to try and keep this car anywhere pointing in a straight line. One of the Lamborghinis is gone. Nine Tails is pointing the wrong direction. Pokecraft's made a submarine out of his Rami Mercedes. That's, that's multi-purpose right there. Uh, Okay, we're struggling. Oh, poke. <laughs> I think that's the other Mercedes. Yeah, that's the other Mercedes having issues with the floor. The, the, the floor is mean. The floor is mean. It's, it seems, at least. Oh, cry. This is, again, there's going to be a lot of work trying to keep this going in a... Well, I say in a straight line. And anything other than backwards into a wall is going to be difficult. Brakes. I mean, the brakes are good, but it's quite... Oh! <laughs> Rally Mercedes down. <laughs> Not in spectacular fashion, but Rally Mercedes is definitely, definitely down. Oh, that's kind of hugging the wall along there. More bumping. Okay, can we get the Camaro? I mean, that's probably the only other car that's really vaguely comparable. I don't know if the Bel Air is all-wheel drive or whether that thing's rear-wheel drive. If it's rear-wheel drive, then it's doing bloody well. If it's all-wheel drive, then it's... Uh, not surprising, really. Oh, there was some bravery. There was some bravery in Rally Mercedes, but we couldn't really do anything with it to try and get past the Camaro. I don't think I've actually had the wheel in a straight line once <laughs> during this race. Don't think it's been uh, pointing straight whatsoever. Oh, the Lamborghini's in the fence. The Camaro got very, very close to the fence. Oh, it's bumpy and bouncy and generally horrible. Oh, we're going to get past the Chevy. Can we hold it? Yes, we will. Can we uh, Can we actually chase down a Lamborghini? I don't know. We're going to oh, slide out towards the uh, toward the wall. Well, um, oh, please get slowed. Oh, thanks for the bump, <laughs> Camaro. If you were guessed sixth or seventh place, that's probably about where we're going to see. Anyone guessing, like, third? I, I approve of the um, confidence that you have in me. I, I, re I really do approve of the confidence. But, uh, <laughs> ambitious. The, I'm ambitious to say the least. Oh, maybe get that slowed down into... That's where we saw Rally Mercedes, the other Rally Mercedes, go for a spin. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, sorry, Camaro, I didn't know you were on beside me. This is a real uh, workout for your uh, grip, because the steering wheel is constantly bumping, constantly jumping around in your hands as the car is clonking over these bumps. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot how hard work it could be on, uh, on on wheels when you come to... I say hard work. I mean, <laughs> in, in relative terms, it's a lot harder work than it was when uh, you sat there with a controller, that much is for sure, when you're constantly, well, constantly moving the damn, the damn thing and you're constantly fighting against it. It's going to be a little bit of sliding. It's a great little race with the Camaro that thinks up the inside. We'll give him space because he's going to overshoot on the exit. We will cut back. It's the real battle of the rear-wheel drive cars here. We are <laughs> we are through once more. It's been the best. I think it's actually been the best race for position so far in this. Well, maybe the country the country boat race, I think, was probably the uh, the best of the uh, <laughs> of the events. We've actually got a little bit of a gap now. Yeah, this Gallardo is way too fast for us to uh, to do anything about. Ooh, it's a little bit bouncy, a little bit clonky. I'm liking, I mean, I'm liking the Mercedes. It's completely out of its comfort zone here, as you would expect, but it's uh, not too bad. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> my force feedback suddenly gone a bit funny. Uh, we suddenly now don't have to, whoa, uh, hello, Camaro. Uh, it's now stopped buzzing incessantly. It'll probably come back at some point. Uh, uh, around the outside of the Camaro we go. That makes life much easier. Oh, although, ah, it makes life much easier, but then you don't really have the same feel. Uh, okay. Uh, have we gone... Oh. Okay, yeah, it's come back again now. That's more like it. Uh, uh, you didn't have to wait up, Camaro. I think they were just enjoying the battle. Uh, I thought it's, it's still not, it's, something's gone a little bit funny. Uh, something, something's gone a little bit strange in uh, in all of this with my, my wheels acting very different to how it's acted the rest of the stream. I wonder if it's, say if it's overheating. There is a light on the top, I think, that's supposed to tell you if it's uh, overheated inside with all the work that it was just having to, uh, to having to do. I can't see the wheel, I can't see the light flashing up, but that doesn't mean that it isn't because uh, it's a little bit hidden behind uh, or kind of like the, wheel, or the wheel rim, if you like. Uh, either way, it's not undrivable. 
just a sudden loss of feeling slightly is a little bit uh, <laughs> unnerving. Right, it is the battle of, well, these three rear, rear wheel drive cars. Oh, no, not going to get, got to throw it up the inside. Uh, that's like we'll throw up the inside. I'm going to throw it up the course there. <laughs> the other Mercedes is uh, having having similar difficulties. Can we throw it along? No, we're not going to be able to get it uh, get it past. Oh, it's, like <laughs> it's just so much fun. Didn't want to be following the Mercedes. The, the Mercedes, the other Rally Mercedes, is having his own troubles, and uh, I could have been done with a line that didn't involve being being behind his own troubles. Uh, I like this course. I don't really remember this course, but it's a good rally stage. It's a good rally circuit. It's a decent late for a rally circuit as well. Later Horizon games have not really wanted to have any sort of long stages. They've all been like a minute-ish lap times. This is nearly a two-minute lap. Uh, I say, okay, a minute and a half lap is probably a better, <laughs> better guess, but certainly for a good S-Class car. Um, though I might have been a little bit slow up there. Camaro looking for a way past. Not intentional blocking by me there. Uh, just the line that I was uh, line that I was stuck on. Oh, we're going to throw the car across the jump, trying to make up time, because we've only got a couple more corners to go. Don't think we're going to finish. Can we throw it up the inside? Oh, he's gone! He's gone! We've got sick! The <laughs> yes! We have got sick. <laughs> Don't know what went on with my force, uh, <laughs> force feedback in that. We got sick, though. <laughs> oh. That was that was seriously tough work. <laughs> that was seriously tough work. Uh, if you guessed sixth place, well done. Kiat guessed seventh and lost it on the very last, like two seconds to go. Two seconds to go, uh, <laughs> and we did it. Yeah, uh, Rebel of Elise. That was fantastic. That was a fantastic race between me and the Camaro. There, that was a brilliant, brilliant battle for uh, for position in, <laughs> in that one.